that uh, characters with worse recoveries usually end up being seen as just worse characters overall. So it'll be interesting how that viewpoint affects this game in which uh, edge guarding is such an integral part uh, thus far. So we're seeing Corin and Mario from the opposing team. Not a lot of talk on these characters. Not at all. But I've been seeing, I could be wrong. But Corin, you know, still has a very strong combo game as we saw in Smash 4. A lot of range as always. Yeah. So if Mario is able to set up those throws or things like that that Corin can respond right. from, especially with that up air, we could be seeing stocks go by pretty quickly. As far as Mario goes, I know his combo game has changed somewhat. The strings are not quite as identical as they were in Smash 4. Uh, from his down throw, he can't always get the same follow-ups, but he still has, of course, great frame data, quick attacks, good neutral game, and we're gonna be seeing how, how Mario and Morin kind of complement each other with those neutrals. Here we see, of course, it's still rather, you know, close, but I would say Bowser Jr. and uh, not Shake Peach, you know, trying to control as the stage as much as you see. Uh, I forgot Waka, right? Yeah. It's Waka being able to stay on stage and apply some pressure on this yellow team. Ooh, we're seeing Bowser Jr. trying to take some stage control right before that throw there. I've also seen a few parries come out, and of course, that being one of the biggest new mechanics in the game. Uh, it might change how we fundamentally see how moves need to be punished and under which circumstances. It's going to be interesting how, how players uh, start applying the parry in these uh, first few tournament settings. Finn went for a fair, trying to catch Bowser yeah. Jr. on the ledge and lost his stock from there. Stayed on that animation, I don't think he had his stock. So, what do you think about Pokemon Stadium 2? This is one of the stages that was added uh, because of the no hazards that this game has. Right. From the Invitational, this was the stage that most players picked, and oh, that off smash just basically calling out that jump from mid. Well, it's very interesting because uh, the platform, oh, very nice of B there catching both players. Uh, unfortunately, like, Stadium is a, it brings us a totally new platform layout that we haven't seen in previous games. As we can see, this is very wide and the platforms aren't uh, close to each other so instead of having pressure from one platform to the other as you would see in stages like Battlefield we can actually see the players would have to switch from one side to the other and not be able to just uh, continue pressure through the platforms themselves right and the platforms aren't that large so certain characters are able to cover a lot of the tech options that your opponent can take if they land there so Trying to think, Peach can go for that upper as we just saw. Of course, yeah. A lot of work. Uh, so in a way, the platforms end up being kind of a trap situation uh, that is added to the interactions of the wider stage. Ooh, okay. Mario, that soft nair launching straight into Gorin, not able to respond with a kind of like a kill yeah. from that situation. Still was able to get a little bit of damage, but you know, a little bit more awareness, and that could be a very deadly scenario. We're seeing a few dropped uh, team combo attempts from both teams so far. Maybe they just haven't used, gotten used to the knockback angles yet or are expecting uh, the launches to be a little slower since that was also one of the fundamental changes in, in gameplay. But uh, so far, green team has cemented a nice little lead. And with that rage... That jab on Bowser Jr. is yeah. incredibly strong. If you haven't played against this character, you need to watch out, because in Smash 4, you know, it was a multi-hit and it was pretty strong, but right now, just lose your stock if you're not careful. Right. And that's probably one of the better changes that Bowser Jr. has had thus far. His jab was seen as something incredibly inconsistent in Smash 4, and you could easily DI out of it before the ender, whereas uh, Toxin used the ender of the jab to get a KO there in, uh, at the end of that last match. Practicing par going into parries, right? It's not an easy thing to get parries on multi hits. Uh, forward smash, for example, is one of the things that people have been using in training mode to try to get that multi parries. Right. Practice in, and pretty cool, first of all, how it looks, but something you need to 
Try to keep in mind against Bowser Jr. if you want to have a little bit of an advantage in the matchup. Of course. And uh, to execute those multi parries, you would almost have to practice them in a move my by move my by move basis, as the timing between multi hits is different in, in lots of different multi hitting moves. So that might actually make it harder to incorporate that in in different matchups. Yeah, the the rate of multi hits. Yeah, like for example, exactly. Yoshi's back air might not necessarily be the same. parry in the same way that you would parry Bowser Jr.'s forward smash. Exactly. Yeah. I don't think we're gonna be seeing character switches from these players. Oxen and Waka, uh, they've always been using these characters. Yeah. And Min and Zio, you know, they're pro they're sticking to Korra and Mario. I didn't quite get the stage they were going for. They're going for Smash Bill, which another change at no hazards. That platform stays in the middle. Oh, it does. That is actually uh, a huge change, seeing as. Many characters could get incredible combo extensions from moving uh, from the moving platform. This platform is a little bit larger, so we were talking about how right. the small platforms in Pokemon Stadium, certain characters can just cover a lot of the tech options with certain moves. Here, you need to think about it a little bit more, right? Because that platform is a little bit larger. Yeah. Still, uh, characters with disjoints, such as Corrin, will still be able to cover most of it, so then it becomes a bit of, a, of an advantage for them, whereas characters with shorter moves or shorter limbs might not be able to cover as many options at once, uh, which is something that you're always going to have to think about when considering counter picks and stage choices in general. Uh, however, the stage feels so small right now in comparison to Smash 4. The four characters barely fit uh, on the stage when they're standing, standing there by themselves. I nice was little double hammer on the recovery by Bowser. And Waka was, you know, excellent DI, but he was very close because Mario's up B. This time he can kill really, really well from the top. Yeah. Before you had to kind of like pitch around and try to get the first hit, right? Yeah, kind of get the, the janky bonus knockback hitbox. Uh, but now it's just a better kill move in general, which definitely favors those juggle combos that Mario uh, so easily does. Is that a parry buddy from Bowser? Now he got hit by the forward smash I see. But we'll have to... Very nice move by Toxin, Z dropping the uh, bomb part onto Mario's up smash, whereas up smash would have beaten any other move that uh, Bowser Jr. had thrown out. See, there we see something a little bit from the Smash 4 days. Ha! Okay. Wow, that, that, was, was, okay. <laughs> that was a KO fest right there. We yeah, saw no, a back okay. throw, we saw a Bowser Jr. jab. And then Peach just coming in there and smacking someone else into the grass. And this trade definitely benefits Red Team, right? Because even though, you know, they killed... It was Peach and then Mario, yeah. and then it was a crazy back and forth. Green Team gonna need to get this K these KOs soon. Horn's still having some invincibility frames on that OB, I see. Uh, and so far, living up to 150%. Very nice job by Haseo trying to stay safe and DIing moves properly. Ah, uh, that was a bit of a curse right there, getting smacked by the back of right into the blast zone. Yeah, you get you sometimes need to be careful with your jump because you know character uh, opponents if they're watching it, right? They can just punish it. And, ooh, woo! That was nice an save. excellent save. Definitely. And a broken shield. Oh no, Haseo was not able to recover in time to save uh, Min there. Still slight advantage here for Red Team, but they need to be careful. Because kind of lost that advantage pretty quickly, right? Yeah. Broken Shield. They still had some excellent saves, like Min was able to grab Bowser Jr. and save Min early on, but still. Ooh, two close calls for Toxin, but him still being able to live uh, so far. In the only one not currently in kill percent, and that can change oh so quickly. Uh, they have to remember that Green Team is full of two veteran players that really know how to work under pressure. So they might just make this comeback happen, and as I say that, Toxin gets KO'd. But, Waka is not giving up. The, the up oh. tilt was enough to take out Mario. And a bit of a nail biter here. That might be with both recoveries. Where's the punish? No punish. Okay, so at 
Peach using the area. Oh, okay. Whoa. Forward smash. Peach. Waka tried to go for that landing forward air, but Corn said, nah, get that crown out of here. My forward smash is longer. And he just straight up spiked her out of the air. Uh, very nice for Haseo and Win to get a game there. Looking very composed. Let's see if they can kind of keep that momentum going and cause what I guess would be an upset, even though we're just day one into this game. I mean, not yet, right? Because the set is still going. It's 1-1. One, one. Yeah, yeah. Well, we'll see. We'll see if they can uh, do it next game, though. But these are definitely strong players. I haven't seen them before. Had you been aware from them? Or? Well, I know Haseo uh, from the University of Puerto Rico back in Rio Piedras. He uh, has always been a fairly good player. Uh, been, been using Corn for the longest amount of time. So I'm not surprised that to see him do well. Um, I know he always takes a few games off Conde whenever they're playing friendly. Uh, Min, however, I would not seen before, if I if I can be really honest. So I'm surprised at how uh, well these two are playing together. Right, definitely friends are coming into the match. And the counter picking against the Smash Bros. Interesting. Oh, this time it's uh, town and oh, city. Oh no, town and it? city. Yeah. Woo, okay. Confused. We can tell by, because of yes, the yes. triple platforms this time around. This stage still moves them out and moves them back in. Interesting. Uh, though I do know that now town and city is actually one of the has one of the biggest uh, blast zones in the game, which is a huge change from uh, Smash Four, where it had basically the lowest ceiling Woo! in okay. that game. That would have definitely killed before. The up B. Uh, yeah, I mean, the percentage was... can't see because the microphone is a little bit in the way. But maybe it was a percentage thing, right? And of course, a little bit... I want to say a little bit misspaced. Ooh, lovely confirmed. That evidently still works. Uh, Bowser Jr.'s card into a B hammer. Very strong kill confirmed. Kills very early. That one uh, took out Foreign in at about 90% or so. Then we see how, you know, you need to be aware of where your opponents are, right? Because yeah. if you commit to a very strong option, you know, the opponent's teammate is going to try as best as possible to save. Okay, no. Where do you go with that but, you know, to save their own teammates. So Definitely. you need to be careful. Very high-paced game so far. We Everyone's already lost the stock in just about a minute, and they're well on their way to losing the second ones as this percentage is racking up very quickly. See, the jab again! That is definitely a very strong kill option right there. Their men decided to keep pressuring Waka, but he had the he had the option, right? He could have gone there or save his teammate. Because that was a multi-hit. Yeah. If he went there and did what hap what Zio did before to save Min, that would have been the better option in my opinion. So perhaps a bit of lack of uh Presence of mind in that one situation there, where it definitely would have been a better option to save a teammate. Uh, and bit of, still a bit of a deficit for uh, Red Team here, even though they are putting up a very good fight so far. Yeah, we should go back and say how saving your team is very important. Yeah. There's situations that you might want to commit with just keep pressure and let your teammate die in the sense that the if there's a situation where you both die, like both opponents die, right? Yeah. Or, it's a, or you can confirm the kill on that opponent with your pressure. Definitely. But most of the time, you're not gonna go for that. Yeah, keeping uh, keeping your teammate alive in doubles and smash is one of the most important things because escaping <laughs> pressure from two players at once is almost impossible. Oh, Zio. unfortunate there for Corin. Uh, Toxin was able to capitalize on Korn's end lag and just come in running with a with an up smash and take him out. And now you know this is a very difficult. Actually, Min needs to. Be, oh no no not not in the corner right. Min can kinda try to do this. No, covering oh, unfortunate he, trade and that about seals it. Right, he was covering. You know Bowser Jr. was in the front. Waka was in the back trying to cover that jump over, 